Cataract. Cataract means opacified lens. It is the most common cause of blindness in the world. There are various classifications for cataract based on cause and morphology. Cataract types based on the cause are senile cataract, congenital cataract, traumatic cataract, metabolic cataract, heat cataract, radiation cataract, and drug-induced cataract. Morphological cataract has three types, nuclear cataract, cortical cataract, and posterior subcapsular cataract. Nuclear cataract is a sclerosis nucleus with increased yellowing. It is commonly seen in the elderly. It is also known as second sight. It is a vision-preserving cataract and presents with decreased vision in daylight, in myopia, while as presbyopia resolves itself as the refractive index of the lens increases. Cortical cataract. It is also known as cuneiform cataract as it is a wedge-shaped cataract. Patients with this cataract present with night blindness. Posterior subcapsular. It is also known as cupliform cataract, which means cup-shaped. This type of cataract lies closest to nodal point and gives maximum glare. Among all cataracts, it produces maximum vision loss. Senile cataract. It is the most common type of cataract. It increases with age. There are numerous risk factors associated with the development of senile cataracts, such as ultraviolet V light exposure, free radicals, smoking, female gender, and high body mass index. Developmental cataract. It is a coralliform cataract. 50% are autosomal dominant. There is no profound loss of vision. It can be polar, zonular, or total cataract. Zonular cataract is the most common cataract, leading to loss of vision in children. Among zonular, the most common is lamellar. Total cataract is seen with Down syndrome and also congenital rubella syndrome. Traumatic cataract. It is caused by coup and counter coup injury. In coup injury, a vaseous ring is formed on the anterior lens, and in counter coup injury, posterior cortical opacification is formed, giving a rosette or stellate cataract. Complicated cataract. It occurs secondary to other ocular conditions. It is most commonly caused by uveitis. Other conditions associated with complicated cataract are retinitis pigmentosa, glaucoma, and high myopia. Secondary cataracts are mostly posterior subcapsular. It shows breadcrumb appearance. Metabolic cataract. It is usually associated with diabetes. Type 1 diabetes shows sudden onset snowflake cataract, and type 2 shows a gradually progressing posterior subcapsular cataract. Other metabolic disorders and associated cataracts. Wilson disease shows sunflower cataract. Galactosemia shows oil droplet cataract. Myotonic dystrophy shows Christmas tree cataract. Fabry's disease shows spoke like cataract. Atopic dermatitis shows shield cataract. Radiation and heat cataracts. Lens is most sensitive to radiation and upon x-ray exposure for prolonged periods, posterior subcapsular cataract develops. Drug-induced cataracts. The most common drug to cause cataract are steroids. They lead to posterior subcapsular cataract. Other drugs causing cataracts are amiodarone, chloroquine, pencilamine, gold. Development. Cataract development occurs in four stages. Incipient cataract. It's the early stage. There is contrast sensitivity with dipulpia, but the loss of vision is minimal. Immature cataract. It has partial opacification of the lens, giving iris shadow, and there is decreased vision. Mature cataract gives total opacity. The lens becomes white, and there are maximum chances of development of glaucoma. Hypermature cataract. Shrinks the lens. The capsule of the lens also shows wrinkling and phacodonesis with subligation of the lens. This type of cataract has two types, morgagnian and sclerotic. Morgagnian cataract is a hypermature cortical cataract, 
The cortex of the lens liquefies, giving a bag of milky fluid appearance, and the nucleus falls into it inferiorly. Sclerotic cataract is a hypermature nuclear pigmented cataract, which can be brown or black. Cataractica nigra is the hardest cataract. Clinical features of the cataract. It gives a gradually progressive painless vision loss with diplopia. Glare with colored halos. Color perception changes. Diagnosis is done by slit lamp examination. Treatment. Glasses. Surgery. It's indicated with increasing severity of the visual handicap. Various surgical procedures are intracapsular cataract extraction with intraocular lens. A lens with cataract and capsule is removed together. Extracapsular cataract extraction with intraocular lens. A lens is removed, but the capsule is kept in situ and an intraocular lens is placed. The various types of intraocular lens are polymethyl methacrylate, multifocal intraocular lens, toric intraocular lens, indicated in astigmatism. Accommodative intraocular lens. Faco emulsification. It's a stitchless surgery and minimizes chances of post op astigmatism. The steps of phaco emulsification are first, prior to surgery, local anesthesia is given. A main incision is given of about 2 millimeters at the junction between the cornea and sclera. Through this incision, intraocular lens will be inserted. Then, one or two additional micro incisions are made to enable the manipulation with surgical instruments. Next, jelly like transparent substance is applied inside the anterior chamber. This substance protects the internal structures of the eye and creates space for the surgeon to manipulate with surgical tools. Next, capsular bag is opened carefully where the lens is located and creates a round continuous opening of approximately 5.5 millimeters. This opening allows removing the cataract lens without removing the capsular bag. Then hydrodissection and hydrodelineation is performed and cloudy lens is broken down. and using the ultrasound probe, it's gently removed via suction, leaving a clear capsular bag. Finally, a clear artificial lens is implanted using an injector. The intraocular lens unfolds gently into the capsular bag, replacing the removed natural lens. Other procedures include small incision cataract surgery, Microincision cataract surgery. Fem2 laser assisted cataract surgery. Pediatric cataract surgery. Cataract surgery should be done in children only with central opacity greater than 3 mm, nystagmus or strabismus. In case of unilateral cataract, surgery should be done as soon as possible, 4 to 6 weeks of birth, as they're at risk of amblyopia. Bilateral cataracts can be done in six to eight weeks. Amblyopia is the most common cause of loss of vision in children. It's defined with best corrected visual activity, six over 12 on one eye, and with the difference of two lines or more. The lesion in these patients is mostly present in the bilateral geniculate body and premature babies, or babies with delay in development are at huge risk. Treatment should be done within 8 to 10 years. Glasses and patch occlusion on good eye every 6 hours. Complications The intraoperative complication is posterior capsule rupture with vitreous loss.
Post-operative complications include Posterior capsular opacification It's the most common complication and occurs more at early ages. Cystoid macular edema It is the most common cause of vision loss after cataract surgery. Postoperative endophthalmitis It is a surgical emergency. The earliest sign of this condition is retinal paraphlebitis. It can be early onset or late onset. Early onset occurs in less than six weeks and is most commonly caused by staphylococcus epidermitis. Late onset occurs after six weeks and is caused most commonly by propionibacterium acnes. The patient presents with immense pain, hypopion, haze in the cornea, and sudden loss of vision. Treatment Drug of choice Antrovitriol vancomycin for gram-positive organisms Antrovitriol ceftazidime for gram-negative organisms That's all for the video. We'll see you next time.